The Minister of State for Industry, Trade and Investment, John Enox, stressed the need to adhere strictly to recommended standards on building to ensure the safety of all. Enoch charged all stakeholders and regulatory authorities to focus more on areas of pre- and post-construction regulation, enforcement framework, public awareness and capacity building for better results delivery. For example, compromising on what standards should be is almost becoming like the norm. It is to discuss issues of adherence to standards as the bedrock for sustainable development in our building and construction sector and all industry. The Director General Standard Organization of Nigeria, Ifai Okeke, underscores the importance of eco-friendly practice and the use of sustainable material in construction. He says SON is focused on encouraging a resilient and self-reliance building and construction sector that serves as a backbone for economic growth in line with the President Bola Ahmed Tinobu's renewed hope agenda. We are committed to working with, our, with other government agencies, professionals, associations, industry leaders and international partners to evolve a cohesive approach to tackling quality and safety issues. I therefore urge all players in the sector to prioritize quality and safety above all else. The President, Council of Registered Engineers of Nigeria, current Professor Sadiq Zubair Abubakar, who was represented by his vice, Olaolu Ogundile, and the President, National Society of Engineers, Margaret Oguntola, charged the industry players to collaborate with Standard Organization of Nigeria in developing local standards that can address the peculiarities in the sector. At the development or domestication of codes and standards, in elaboration with key stakeholders such as the Nigerian Society of Engineers and its corresponding committee on codes and standards must not go unnoticed. But we need to do more. Collaborated very well with SON in areas of compliance, <coughs> monitoring, and all the rest in ensuring that SON delivers on its mandate and the NSC is committed to a continued and even more robust relationship. The forum brings together stakeholders across the country who seek to chart a way forward to adherence to standard practice to end the menace of building collapse. Kike Lomo Okiri, Global Television News.